Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we're looking at the Divi Supreme Lite modules today. It's a free version of one of my favorite Divi plugins, Divi Supreme modules. And we're gonna be looking at the little button, Supreme button module today. Like any other button, button, you can link them to anywhere you want. But the great thing about these is you can have a pop-up video from your button or you can also pop up images too. And that's a great little feature. Divi Supreme Modules Lite, you can find the link below the video. Just go over to the features page. Scroll on down to the bottom. And you'll find the free download button. Divi Supreme Lite comes with 20 free modules and three premium extensions. And there's some great modules here, there really are. And we've been demoing them in our playlist. So have a look at our Divi Supreme Lite playlist. For anybody that's interested, if you come from my link below the video and want to upgrade to the pro version, you're going to get 10% off. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to enable my Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work and I'll simply get rid of this module. I've got a row here with two columns in it. I'm simply going to hit the little dark button there to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules here, plenty enough to build just about any site. When you add the free Divi Supreme, you get these 20 blue ones here. And there's a few more Divi regular ones down the bottom. With Divi also, if you've got WooCommerce installed, you get another dozen or so modules to display your products. Okay, so we're gonna go in and take a look at the button module today. There it is, Supreme Button. Now we need to give our buttons some text. So I'll make the first one video. And we'll make the second one image. As you can see, they've popped up right there. Down below, you can put in the links for your modules. For the first one, if we go down, I'm going to hit open as video light box. And if you hover over the little question mark, it tells you, put the video link on the button one URL and it supports YouTube, Vimeo and daily motion. So let's get a little YouTube video URL. Okay, so I've got a YouTube video link. I'm simply going to paste it in there. And for the second one, let's open this as an image light box. You can use it as a regular button by just putting a regular URL in there. I'm going to hit the open as image light box and it'll let us choose an image right here. I'll choose the first one I see there. Great. Okay. You can put a separator in if you want, and you can write some text in there if you want to separate it with text or symbols. I'm not going to leave mine just as it is. I'm happy just to have the two little buttons there. If you do put a separator in, you can make it full width on mobile or remove the text in the middle on a mobile by flipping these switches on right here. Okay, well, let's move on to our design tab. Alignment, I'm going to pop my buttons into the middle. Text wise, well, I've not got any text there to really edit. I'm not using separated text, but if I was, you can change the font. As I'm sure you know, if you watch any of my other Divi videos, Divi comes with a fantastic amount of fonts. And to audition, just hover over one and it'll give you an example of what that font looks like. So you're not going to get stuck for a font in a hurry with Divi. And of course you can make it bold, regular, uppercase, lowercase, align it where you want, give it a separate color, text size, letter spacing, etc. But I'm happy to leave it as is. I'm not using separated text, but there's some plenty of options there. Sizing wise, well, I'm not going to mess with the sizing. If you wanted to, you could shrink this down so it's smaller than it is, or but with the buttons, it, it's fairly irrelevant because they're not taking up too much space. Okay, button one. Let's custom style our button here. And again, you've got plenty of op options to choose. I'm going to make the text color white. It'll disappear on the white background. 
but I'm simply going to give it a blue color background. And if you want to set a hover color, hover over the dark legending. And this is common to most DV modules right here. If there's an arrow there, click on the arrow and you can set a desktop or non hover state and change the state on hover by clicking on the little arrow. And let's make it purple on hover. There we go. Okay. I don't want any border, so I'm going to take the border off completely. And again, you can change the fonts, uppercase, lowercase. I don't want to use an icon, but if you do, there's plenty of icons to choose from, from the Elegant Themes icon list here. If I hover over, there's an icon. I don't particularly want to use an icon on this, so I'm going to turn that off. And I'm not going to give it any margins are going to push it down or up or side to side padding is going to make it fatter for example if I put 50 picks margin on the top it's going to push it down by 50 picks let's take that away if I put 50 picks padding on there it's going to make that button 50 picks fatter or taller just like that so padding is going to actually affect the shape of it whereas margin is going to affect the positioning of it. And that's common with button modules. Okay, let's just add a little box shadow. There we go, good to go. Button two, we can do a similar thing. I'll make the text color white again. And the button background, let's make this purple this time. And then I'll hover, let's make it red perhaps. There we go. Put it back on desktop. And again, I'm going to take the border away. Just taking that down to zero. Now I don't particularly want an icon on it either. There we go. And just to finish off, make it look like the other one, I better put a bit of box shadow on there. There we go. We're good to go. Okay, the only other thing, I want to push it down just a little bit from what's on top of it there. So I'm going down to spacing, which is general spacing for all of it. Could have done this in either of the buttons. It would have done the same thing, but I'm going to take it down by hundred picks with the margin there. There we go. So we should be pretty much good to go. Let's save what we've got here. We'll save the page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready and exit the visual builder. Great. Let's go down. There's our little buttons. First one going to pop up a video in a little light box there just hit the play button it'll play the video and you've got an X out at the top here or you can just click anywhere outside of it and it'll shut it down too image wise let's just click on this one and it pops up that nice image in the light box and again you've got an X to X out or you can just click outside of the box and like I say you can use these for any kind of button you want you don't have to have two, you can just put one in if you want to. But having them pop up a video or an image is a great little feature. And once again, we've been using the Divi Supreme Modules free version for this. And you can download it or the pro version from my link below the video. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.